<laughs> have you ever heard of uh, SRT Ghoul? It's basically yes, a they're... charger with a Heliphant crate engine put into it. Mm -hmm. Is Dodge planning on doing that? Well, they're considering it. I mean, it is, it's been on the drawing board. They've done experimentation, but are they gonna put it into production? <laughs> all right guys so welcome back thank you for hanging out spending a few moments here with me if you're new definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button i really do appreciate it now all the speculation is going to be coming to an end dodge is going to be revealing the final last call model and uh i'm sure a lot of you guys are really anticipating this now there's a, a, a photo that has been kind of surfacing on the internet. It is of a Challenger with a wide body kit, but only in the back. And I was looking at the spec sheet for this you know, la final last call model, and it actually really points out the fact that it's not going to be a full wide body. It's only going to have the rear fender flare. So this very well could be a picture of this final last call model. My prediction is that it was going to be a red Red eye with an upgraded three liter supercharger that you would find on the Heliphant crate engine, as opposed to the 2.7 liter that's currently on there, along with upgraded um, internals, pistons, rods, crank, and upgraded fueling to handle E85. So that would be larger injectors and likely uh, either a larger pump or dual pump. I am just finding out that this thing is in fact going to have a Heliphant crate engine in it, but it's not what you think it is. It is not going to be a 426. For those of you that don't know, there's actually four Heliphant crate engines. Two of them are the 6.2 liter 376 cubic inch, and the other two are 7 liter 426s. All of them are hovering in the 1,000 horsepower range, but the one that's going to make its way into this final last call model is the Heliphant C170, and this has a 1,000 horsepower. It's uh, tuned for ethanol E85, uh, 170 proof. On top of that, it's going to be coming with a larger throttle body, an upgraded pulley, high flow injectors, an ethanol sensor, enlarged main and head studs, upgraded bearings, pistons, connecting rods. So really what I was speculating is not far off from what, what is actually going to be happening. And um, it's really cool to see that uh, what we've been kind of hoping, which is a ghoul, is actually going to be making its way into the uh, the final model. And uh, for all of those that were saying that the ghoul was in fact real, I do apologize because I did make a handful of those videos saying that it's nothing more than an April Fool's joke. There's no way that it was going to ever be able to make its way into any kind of production car. And that is that is false. And I'm going to show you guys the specs of, of what is actually listed for this last call model. I'm going to run some of the teasers for you guys that Dodge has released. I'm not really the greatest at deciphering what these codes mean and whatnot, but I did have really good information going into this on what to kind of expect for this final last call model. A lot of people are calling it the Goblin, a lot of people calling it the Ghoul, and I think that the Ghoul is an accurate name for this thing. Let's face it, it's a Heliphant Crate engine that makes a thousand plus horsepower and it's in a production challenger. Uh, so take a look at these teasers. Let me know if you, you know, you spot anything.
And again, this is uh, this is really it. The speculation is all going out the window. Dodge is going to be unveiling this bad boy, this last, you know, final goodbye uh, shortly. And uh, it's going to be really the end of uh, something great that we all love, the, the modern day Hemi. And uh, it's going to give birth to basically their next lineup, their 2024 Charger EV, Hornet, and whatever last model they, they have yet to introduce not a lot of speculation around that third model, so not really sure exactly what they're thinking. A lot of people think it's some kind of an SUV, uh, maybe a Durango replacement. So um, here we go. Here is the teasers that Dodge has been releasing. And uh, it's interesting, the quality uh, quality of these, these commercials. Uh, it's not exactly what we've had in the past, if you take a look at the Demon uh, commercials, but still... Very cool nonetheless, and uh, dropping hints, and, and it's, it's very interesting. So, all right, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below.